One of the concepts that I don't think advisors really take into account enough is the true, what I call the true net payout, especially in independent situations. If you're an employee advisor, there's a good chance that you have a pretty simple uh, payout structure. Revenue comes in, you get a percentage of that. There may be some fees and things like that you have to pay, and there may be bonuses and things like that that you can earn to, that may increase your, your payout. But for the most part, it's pretty simple. When you get into the independent world, there are a lot of hidden fees that are not the most obvious to advisors. I know when I was uh, an independent, whatever my payout was, once you factored in the platform fees and the account fees and the E&O and the affiliation fees and all these different things that, that factored in, it was way less than what the stated payout rate was. Now, I was a small advisor, so those flat fees represented a larger chunk of my overall revenue than, than for some advisors. But I have seen advisors in situations where when you really look at it from a standpoint of how much are their clients paying and then how much are they taking home before taxes, it is astronomically different between where they think they are and where they actually are. I'm talking, you know, 80 percent payout. And when you look at it, clients are paying 500,000 and they're walking away with 150,000. That is not 80 percent. So. It's rare that it's that extreme, but I would say it is pretty common to see a 15 to 20 percent delta between what the advisor thinks their payout is, or at least what their independent firm would like them to think that their payout is and what it actually is. So I would love to help you sort of inventory all those expenses and see what is the if you take everything that your clients are paying and everything that you're taking home, what's the gap between that? And then what are the options that are out there that are going to be a best fit for you that might be more economical? It doesn't mean that you can eliminate all of those other expenses, but there are a lot that are out there that you could cut back on quite a bit and walk away with a much better true net. So when you are factoring in, whether it's through advisor advocates or on your own work or your own diligence or with another, uh, even with another recruiting service, please factor in what that true net is and don't just take the, the what is stated as the answer for the firm that you're with now or for those that you're looking to consider for your next home.